What's up, Eric? What is going doing? on, Justin? Yeah. And hello to everyone watching and or listening to yes. uh, The Trending Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be a really good one. This is going to be a good one. I'm I feel like excited. the trending list never disappoints. There's <laughs> never, always some, some stuff on here that is just like creators I've never seen, videos that I'm I'm just blow my mind. I mean, the gamut. Always on yeah. the trending list here on for YouTube. For sure. For sure. Uh, first up is Billie Eilish's new track, Everything I Wanted. Everything I Wanted, the official video. Man, Billie Eilish. I have thoughts. Give me some thoughts, Justin, on Billie Eilish. Uh, before we started this, you said she's 18 now. 18 last month. Last month. Right? Last month. I just checked I've the always, Wikipedia. She, she, first off, she's beyond talented. Her yeah. and her brother uh fantastic lyrics music it's all great right. but i have to say yeah i've always been sketched out a little bit yeah <laughs> because lyrics and i'm not trying to sound like a grandpa <laughs> but i'm gonna sound like a grandpa <laughs> you know so you're a tough guy like it really rough guy just can't get enough guy chest always puff guy i'm the bad type make yeah. your mama sad type i was i was like dang this is a good song that's i'm feeling bad, it that's bad oh guy right she's there. a child oh she's a middle school <laughs> wait a minute wait whoa, a second whoa back it whoa. up whoa so that, I'm glad to know she's like not a child anymore. Yeah, yeah. So I can like <laughs> it's official. Yeah, you know, we can talk about the lyrics. I like. Yeah, I was yeah, actually no. at a dinner party, and I was yeah. like, "Have you guys? This is like a year, two, three ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe two. I was like, "Have you guys heard of Billie Eilish?" Uh huh. And someone's like, "Yeah, let me read you her lyrics." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, like okay, yeah." And I was like, "What's the problem?" And she's like, "She's a child. <laughs> What's wrong with you?" It was an awkward moment, man. Dude, but like so talented. So I, talented. Like, if I think about the things so that talented. I was doing at 18, it was not topping the charts. No, no, Writing no, no. songs she, dude, that so everybody talented. loves. And Super talented. Now we can jam out to it because she's an adult. Yeah, it's a, yeah, dude. Yeah, we cannot feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> so funny, dude. The video uh, is the music video, like we said, for everything I wanted. And she also directed this music video, man. So it's her and her brother. They're in a car just singing the song real low key. <sighs> Um, and then they drive into the ocean, then the car's underwater. It's a trip. Got to check this video out. The song itself is so good too, man. So good. So good. So good. So good. My she, daughter loves Billie Eilish. And, Shout out to little Holly. Whoop, whoop. And she is, uh, up until recent. Uh, well, I saw this thing on Jimmy, Fa was it Jimmy Fallon? One of the Jimmy's. She lives with her parents. Really? She's keeping it real? Like, home now she's 18, maybe That's she doesn't, yeah, but yeah. she, like, lived in the house she grew up in. That's amazing. She's keeping it chill. That's amazing. Well, keeping her brother, so her brother's in the industry. Her mom's an actor, too. Actress. I didn't know that. Yeah. Her what? mom's her mom's an actress, voice actress, uh, did some music as well. What? Very ta talented family. What? Talented family through that and through, man. That is great. Through and through. Oh, my gosh. Coming down the list, the next one I want to talk about, man, the cheer squad soars with an incredible routine. This is from the Ellen Show. Were you a cheerleader in high school? <laughs> I was not. I, were you, Justin? I wasn't. <laughs> I have a cousin though that was really a male cousin. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's ripped, dude. He's it ripped. takes it takes strength, yeah. man. And yeah. they're like, so this routine, so this this cheer squad, so this is the squad that's. Like all the rage on Netflix right now. Yeah. There's like a cheer docu series on Netflix. The the routines and the talent that it takes to do what they do <laughs> is insane. But apparently everybody wants to go to the school. I, I had to ask my wife. I was like, what talk, talk to me about this cheer squad stuff. Um, everybody wants to go to this school. But what's so interesting to me is cheerleading it has it seems like it has such a shelf life, right? Yeah. Like you you a ton of dedication and a ton of hard work goes yeah. into being able to pull off the stuff that they're pulling off. But then after you have like a four year span, right? Maybe yeah. you go to college with sure. it, but what do you do after that? You know what I mean? Like that's Ooh. my, that's my, maybe, maybe there's yeah. a gymnastic side of it and you could do yeah. some Olympic stuff, but even, I don't, I don't even know. I don't that's even know. Fascinating. It's crazy. But so your cousin, well, actually he wasn't in high school. It was college. Oh, it was college. He did it in college. And I, when I found that out, I was like, "Dude, what? Like, what, what's what's going on with you?" And he's like, "I work out all day and and pick up and toss beautiful women, and it's fantastic. And <laughs> yeah. it's great. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah, it's sweet. It's and he's sweet. like, yeah. yoked. And well, yeah. You have to be like, they're holding them up like on their hands yeah. and like literally like throwing them to do like yeah. five flips before you catch them. Right. 
Right. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, what do you do with it after? I don't know. I mean, maybe you know? you, I'm, I'm sure there's personality traits or it's habits sure. that you pick up and yeah, carry yeah. forward. Yeah, you can apply to something else. But yeah. but as far as cheer, like it's the shelf life. It's high school, college. Right. right. Then that's it. Then you've dedicated all this time and this energy NFL has that. cheerleaders, though. Maybe that. You know, I, the NFL does. I think some teams do. But, but I feel like the, they're not doing these routines. They're just like... Yeah. Shaking the pom pom yeah. and like, yeah. Go bears, Rawr. go tigers. There's a tigers, right? Nah. Two point, you you asking me, <laughs> Justin, the sports guy. What's your favorite NFL team? Dude, I love the cheetahs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> cheetahs. It's the Jaguars. Jaguars. <laughs> well, you mentioned this is on Netflix. Uh, did you know you can still get DVDs from Netflix? Dude, they will mail you DVDs. I did that back in the day, but yeah. Now I just looked it up. <laughs> to confirm that you could still do that because my wife didn't believe me. I was like, hey, people still do the DVD thing. Yeah. They still do it. Yeah. It's, yeah, no, it's it's mind it's mind boggling that, that, I mean, just, you can stream anything. Right. You can watch anything from anywhere, your phone, your smart TV, your computer, but people are still walking to the mailbox and dropping in a DVD <laughs> and waiting two days to get the next one on their queue. And they're format they're formatting that queue and they're like, hmm, which DVD? Let's see. I have a, a wedding this weekend, so I wanna let's see. I'm gonna have some time. Like what? Now I will do Redbox if I'm on a road trip. Sure, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh yeah, because you got a DVD player Red, in the car, right? Yeah, Redbox you just, is yeah. expensive though. Thirty bucks a rental? <laughs> Dude, I, might as well just buy it. It's never cheaper than like twenty to thirty bucks for me, man. Dollar a day. Yeah, right. Charades with Martin Short and oh, David Dobrik. David Dobrik. Dude, this... On Jimmy Fallon. And he said man. this was the first time... David said this was the first time he's ever played charades. And he picked it up like that. Dude. That was pretty cool. So crazy. So a couple of elements here. David Dobrik killing it on YouTube. Yeah. Came from Vine. Mm-hmm. Um, started on Vine with the short stuff. And then his style is like... is so unique, man. It's like just the quickest like almost like 10 second scenes and then he rolls them together to create a five minute ish video. Yeah. So entertaining. So like, you're just, you're honed in and like, you <laughs> want to see what's happening next. Anyways, I love his style and I love, he's just, he's killing it. He's on Jimmy Fallon. He's a host on uh like, like world's most talented family, which is a show mm-hmm. on, on, on TV. Yeah. Uh, but this video hilarious, man. And, Mar- and you have Martin short, like one of the oldest comedians, yeah. like still living. Uh, and and they're just do playing the charade. It's hilarious, man. Is there a Martin Short character that comes to mind? Like it, whenever I see I or hear to, Martin Short, yeah, it's uh, the Cat in the Hat, the, the cartoon, the Cat, cat in the Hat. hat. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Cat yeah. in the Hat. There was a lot about that. Yeah, that's right. I was right. trying to remember. There was a there was a movie that I watched when I was younger where he was the star, and I I'm like I couldn't remember. Oh. I can't remember the movie at all. So I was I was doing the same thing, trying to think of his characters. And you remember he was on the Santa Claus. He was like Jack Frost oh, yes. on the Santa Claus. Yes, that was great. And, uh, that was great. Funny dude, though. Funny dude. The next one on the Ooh, list. This one road, was hard to watch. It made me sad. Which the road trip planners yeah. uh, 2020 big game commercial. The channel that it's from is the Estate of <laughs> Mister Peanut. <laughs> Oh, and is that Wesley Snipes? I don't know. I, I think don't... it's Wesley Snipes. Is it? Yo, yeah, Mount Wash and Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. I was so concerned with with Mr. <laughs> Peanut. Mr. Peanut was is the planter's peanut mascot, yeah. right? Yeah. So in this video, spoilers, spoilers ahead. In this video, we think he, he dies. Yeah. He dies. They're like road tripping in the big peanut mobile and they go off the side of a cliff and and they're hanging onto a branch and he's like, I'm gonna let go. Yeah. And he dies. Well, and so he lands, <laughs> he lands, and they're like, Oh, he's probably okay, and then the oh, van yeah. explodes. <laughs> That's right. And they're like, No, he's not okay. Oh dude, man. what if he just got roasted? Because you know the roasted peanuts? Oh maybe dude, he got roasted and they're gonna go are... down and eat him. Gosh, you're so smart, man. What'd you say? You're just so smart. I heard it the first time. So I just smart, hear it again. dude. The so dude, that might be it, right? That could be it. It's the time of year. So it's the time of year when we start seeing all of the big game commercials, and <clears throat> they're hitting the trending list. 
Um, and and I've I've seen it a couple times on the list, but uh, uh, brands are creating these commercials and leaving them almost cliffhanger so they can show you the pun intended, uh, so leaving them almost uh, open so that you'll watch the game and want to find out what happens. Yeah. I'm curious what happens, dude. but dude, that is a good theory. Dude. Maybe he's roasted. Yeah, and now and we're gonna have some. Friend. <laughs> they just start gnawing on him. Yeah, and he's like, "It's okay." Just went dark, so, dude. Seeing the vehicle they were in and seeing Mr. Peanut reminded me. I saw the Wienermobile, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Yeah, have oh ever, yeah. Have you ever like walked in it and stuff? Yeah, I feel like they've had it here. In yeah, town a couple. I times. think I was yeah. in Vegas when I saw it. Yeah, yeah, dude, it was amazing. Just that's a, all I wanted to just tell you. Just a freaking hot dog <laughs> on wheels. Yeah. Next one I want to take a look at. Can you understand these backwards <laughs> phrases? Could you understand any of those? And this is on Good Mythical More, sir. Yeah. No, I couldn't understand any Not of them. Not a single one. No, man. Not at all. I tried. They so they're so Rhett and Link are sitting at their desk, and they have uh, someone who's pre-recorded uh, phrases, and then they play them backwards, and they have to guess what the phrase is. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't, my brain, my brain was hurting trying to figure out like what syllable you start with. Yeah. Because it's like they play it backwards, but your brain's like, okay, I just heard it this way, yeah. but now I have to reverse that. But then which syllable am I starting with? Is it the one at, at, that he said at the very beginning of the phrase, at the very end? It's, it's, it's so confusing. It's like messed up. But they have a, and they have a heck of a time. Yes. Trying to guess these things. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, these guys are so hilarious. And I actually went to their channel last night and looked at their uh, first uploads. Okay. Back yeah, in the yeah. day. Yeah. It's awesome. Dude, See the so, so Rhett and Link, I've been a fan for a long time. They they had a show on on some random network yeah. thing, like like yeah. Oxygen or something. Yeah. Probably not Oxygen. Hallmark Channel, I don't or know. Something. Anyways, but it was called Commercial Kinks. And they yes. would go to like small town mm-hmm. America, mm-hmm. find a small business, like a like a Almost rickety businesses, you yeah, know what I like mean? like a weird like used car dealership or like an AC yes. company or a pawn yeah, shop. Yeah, uh, they did a chiropractor. Uh-huh. Anyways, and they would create a commercial mm-hmm. for this person's business. <laughs> Dude, there's one that I, and we still, my family, like we still quote it to this day. And it was for this guy named Heavy Hill. And he was a trash collector. What? Dude, like picture, picture rural Idaho. We're in Idaho. Yeah. Picture rural Idaho town and this guy's business. <laughs> His name's Heavy Hill. Heavy Hill. And he's the trash man. Okay. So, like, whatever trash that wouldn't be picked up by your regular services, yeah. he would come and lug it away for you. Oh, wow. But they made this whole commercial, and it's like, and, it's, and he's, I mean, picture this big dude, suspenders, old guy, big beard. He's like, I'm the trash man. He's like, <laughs> I pick up three to five bags a week. I won't come out if it's a snowing. Like, dude, go back and watch Heavy Hill, okay. the Trash Man. Oh, and he has his trusty, his trusty trash, uh, his trusty Sidekick. steed, Trashicorn. It's a donkey. They threw a like unicorn horn. These guys, man, so funny. They're like, how can we, how can we make an amazing commercial for this That's rickety business? It was great. I love love Rhett and Link. Oh, they're the best. Always, they are the best. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this next one. So it's from the channel called Cut. Okay, yep. and the title of the video is "Guess My Ethnicity." <laughs> Dude, I love this one because no oh. one can guess my ethnicity. No, it's always wrong. Always, always. You've got some stories too of just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was. One story is I was in uh, London, <laughs> yeah. walking down the street. I don't know if I've told you this. No, I was walking down the street. Didn't have a beard back then. And someone uh, grabbed my arm and pulled me into a room. Okay. Okay. And it was like, I mean, just think of like you've you've seen, you've been to New York and stuff. Like, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. just sometimes roads and a lot of buildings, alleys, buildings, and, and, and then yeah. there's doors. And okay. they pulled me into a room, and they were nice. I didn't think I was being kidnapped or anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most people. <laughs> and there were a bunch of men uh, at tables drinking little cups of tea. Uh, okay. Or coffee, or I don't know what it was, and it was real loud. And the person yeah. that pulled me in the room said, in uh, I in, in a different language, yeah, um, something like "everyone, everyone," yeah, and everyone stops and looks. And then he starts talking and points to me, and everyone starts cheering. <laughs> and I'm like, "What is this? 
what is happening right now? I have no idea what he was saying. Uh-huh. Then <coughs> he could see I was concerned. He pointed to the wall and it was a picture of me. What? A military leader of, I think it was Turkey, looked a lot like me. He was like their George Washington. Okay. But uh, that's how he described it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it looked like me on the Are wall. Are you serious? And everyone cheered for me. And I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird? That is so weird. You've never told me this story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. So there was that. Um, we're always asked, we're like all the time Dude. people ask my wife and I, what language we speak to our kids at home? <laughs> The only one I know. <laughs> yeah, so I did a DNA test, Dude. and uh, I'm just a whole bunch of stuff. Mostly like right. European, Eastern right, Eastern European. right. But yeah, I mean, you just you carry a darker skin tone, yeah. like darker features. You've yeah. got this great beard, <laughs> and but yeah. people people just don't know. No, they have no idea. <clears throat> it works to my advantage, I think. Sometimes, and, and so Fantastic. this video, yeah, so this video, guess my ethnicity is literally a lineup of. People from various cultures and ethnicities, and then they have each other guess yes. what it is. Yeah. Dude, and one dude is so confident. He 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 claims to be he's like, I'm half Asian. I can't I know a half Asian from a mile away. Like if there's one in the room, I know it. Yeah. And uh dude, he his stuff was pretty funny. Just his the guesses he was throwing out. He's pretty close on most of them. Yeah. Well, and the one gal who was a military brat, yeah. She she nailed it. Yeah. She, she was did. like, You are Korean and your father's black. Yeah, and she's like, "Yeah, that's uh, that's actually that's, true. That's accurate. Yeah, it's it's uh it's wild. It's 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 funny. There it's, was I think it was the same channel, maybe not, but there was a video I saw, very likely the same channel, where they had people who uh, there was like a white guy who was clearly like white supremacist type situation. Oh yeah, yeah. And he, he just talked about like his race and like how proud he was of it. Right. And then they gave him a DNA test. Oh, dude. And he's not all white. Oh, man. Right? Yeah. So they did this to a few different people with a few different scenarios. Right. Where they had just strong like feelings about who they are. Oh, right. And they As it were relates to race, wrong. yeah. They were oh, wrong. Man. It's, yeah, in terms of race. They were totally wrong, and it makes it made them look differently about who they are and yeah. what they did and stuff. It was cool. Changes it. That's good. Yeah. That's always good. Next one on the list, your girl, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> hey girl <laughs> there's a trailer uh for miss americana uh which is a netflix documentary uh about taylor swift about uh and and more specifically i guess about her kind of uh uh figuring out what she's all about you know she she started as a country artist uh, just in the trailer alone, they talk about how, you know, she felt influenced by, uh, what she was supposed to be according yeah. to executives and those types of things. And then, and then vanished for a year almost it's, yeah. is, is kind of how they made it out to be. Uh, didn't talk to anybody, basically just had to figure, figure herself out, figure, figure out who she was, what her voice was and those types of things. Uh, looks super interesting. Looks super interesting, man. Um, there was, there's one scene in the trailer where she's sitting with your boy, my boy Brendan Yuri. Yeah, and why is he your boy? If people don't. So, uh, quick backstory: Brendan Yuri of Panic at the Disco uh, and myself went to school together. That's right. Both b- both uh, raised in Vegas. Uh, we went to junior high together. Were you in a band together, dude? We played we played in junior high band together, nice. uh, and then in high school, I. I played music in a band. He was playing music in bands. Oh, we, cool. we collaborated a lot. Um, it was a lot of fun. But anyways, Brennan and I were like inseparable in those days. Wow. Like, you know, junior high, high school era. Anyhow, uh, it was fun to see him, you know, in the yeah. clip. Because he and, he and Taylor dropped a song last year. Um, and it was and it was fun and it was silly. But it was uh, but I definitely want to check this out. Just to see, just to see, kind of yeah. his his piece in the, yeah, in, the sure. in the puzzle for sure, for sure. But uh, people love Taylor, man. People love Taylor. People love, love Taylor. Love Swift. her, and good on her for taking a step back because yeah. she became famous so young. And yeah. even if you're not famous, I think you got to take a moment in life to kind of step back and analyze where you're at, right? And who you're around, yeah, and. We're all kind of programmed in a way, right? Like, sure. like from the environment around you, the people around you, and so sometimes you just have to like 
try to deprogram yourself and reevaluate. So yeah. good on her. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. It's cool. We're all humans, man. Next video, five gamers versus one <laughs> fake gamer by <laughs> Jubilee. Whoop, whoop. This is my first uh, experience with Jubilee, with this particular series. So they, apparently they put, they put a group of people in a room. Uh, and it's and it's this type of scenario where five people are one thing and one person is not. There's a mole, okay? Okay. And then they've got to collectively figure out who the mole is, and then they vote people off per per round. Um, if the mole survives to the end, yeah. the mole there's a cash prize. Oh, the sweet. mole gets all the cash. If uh, and then if the if they are able to get the mole out, those those who are left who haven't been voted off will share that cash prize. So in this video, they have five six six people in a room, five gamers, one not gamer, right? And it's like gamers gamers are a different breed, right? Sure. They're like, oh man, I play leagues and blah blah blah. Which character are you in the storyline? Yeah. I'm at level sixteen, blah blah blah. And so so they all start with a banter, dude, and like the mole. Hangs in, hangs tough, dude. Nice. I think they, I think they end up voting the mole out like in round three. Whoa! But so two people, yeah, true gamers got voted out before this mole got voted out. Interesting concept, man. Yeah, no, it's a fun channel. Concept. It's a real fun channel. From Fine Bros, we got generations react to dumbest game show answers. Hilarious. What's Popeye's favorite food? Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. And they said Popeye's, and she got it wrong because Popeye's favorite food is spinach. But right. Popeye's gave her what, 10 grand? They gave her 10 grand in food. In food? Yeah. Oh, it was sweet. Good, dude, if she would have, if she, yeah, because it was like, if she guessed it right, it would have been $10,000 um, for the game. Yeah. She says chicken. Yeah. Popeye's chicken, right? She was right? so confident. Dude, she was like, she owned it too. She was like, chicken! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No. No, wasn't chicken. And I feel for her though, because when I'm put on the spot, my brain stops. Dude, Completely. dead spot, dead stop. <laughs> yeah, too funny, man. And then they're dude, and then they go on, and there's the with Ken Jennings. Oh my god! And it's like uh, uh, an ancient phrase. It's a gardening tool, but also means someone mi- who's promiscuous. Yeah, pr- yeah, basically. And he's like, "What is a hoe?" But the answer was rake. <laughs> the answer's rake. Come on. What? Rape? Come on. I've never heard of that. No, man. Amazing. I love it. It's a good list. Amazing list today. Amazing list. Good videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you are watching us on YouTube and are interested in listening to our podcast, go to thetrendingshow.com and vice versa. If you're listening on the podcast and want to check us out on YouTube, thetrendingshow.com is going to have links to all of the all of the places that you can consume what it is that we're putting out. That's right. Um, we've got a uh, YouTube channel, Instagram, and of course podcast on all of your favorite platforms. So the trendingshow.com would love for you guys to check us out. Leave a review, leave a comment, leave a like, all the things. All the things associated with what we do. Woop woop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. See you next time.